Hi, this is a continuation of part 1. In this video, we will replace React tab with a custom linting content. The reason why I want to replace React tab ESLint content is because I don't see it is enough for me. For example, here I have defined a variable using var keyword and it's not dissuading, it's not showing me any warning or error. It's not what I want for me or my team. And let me also define an array with has which does for each. I want to dissuade me and my developers from using for each. So I would rather go with some opinionated config. Thankfully, we have a few popular opinionated config, and I personally prefer Airbnb config. You can refer the style guide to see if it fits your taste. I really like what Airbnb uh, gives us. And I am of the opinion it's not enough actually, but let me start somewhere. Let me install this ESLint config of Airbnb. This would just work if it's not your TypeScript project, but in a TypeScript project, the installation is a little more tricky, the configuration is a little more tricky. Let's do that. So I'm going to search for a ESLint config of Airbnb which has a TypeScript support. So this is that plugin. Now let me install this plugin. ESLint config Airbnb hyphen TypeScript. I don't have to install the other dependency that's a, that is mentioned in the readme because it's already installed part of the create react app project. So once I installed, I could extend the config by doing this. Now that we have extended the config, it should work ideally, right? Let's see if it works by starting our server. Because as you in this, as you see in the docs, we we haven't completed the entire step, but I want you to see the error. So this is the error that we encounter because we have not included the path. So I'm including the project path of the TS config. Now let's see. It seems to work. So these are the errors. These are the linting errors. It's fairly obvious. So this says not to use var. I'm replacing it const. And unfortunately, I'm not able to get any warning for this for each. Probably I have to find some other plugin. Let me fix this error, which I see in index.tss. It's related to the missing trailing comma. It's because we have to configure our Fritera C in to be in okay it's not actually an error but uh, the vs my vs code is not picking up the config that is related to the eslint to pick it up we need to configure my pretty rc i prefer using trailing comma and i also using prefer using semicolon some people don't prefer using semicolon but it's fine now it is letting me add semicolon in my vs code editor and yeah, and it finally got compiled. So that's how you include Airbnb config in your project. Now that we have included the project, I want to walk through the dependency, the packages that are part of this project. So the first pro uh, first package that you see is ES plugin import. So what this will do is it will do a lot of things. I'll give you an example where uh, I'm importing the library in the second line. So it's saying that you should not import the library, the, the order of the import. So it wants us, uh, it, it throws warning about the ordering, which is pretty good. Uh, so that's what this particular library does. It does a lot of things like uh, it also sometimes talks, uh, wants you when you, when you export in a different order. So this is a pretty good library. Let's move on to the second library, which is ESLint plugin. Uh, this one, it's an accessibility related plugin. This plugin will warn you, it, 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 in my experience, it covers almost 80% of your accessibility related issues. You'd, and then probably you need to figure out the rest of the accessibility related issues using Web2 or something. Let me move on to the third uh, plugin, which is ESLint plugin React, which has React specific settings. I'll, uh, you can go through the actual plugins, uh, read uh, GitHub page to see what are the available settings. 
so the, there are plenty of settings uh, for this demo I, I can probably try and give some props that uh, the tag doesn't accept for example p tag doesn't accept a prop or a property called random so and it wants me about this because we are using this uh, eslin config react and here it also wants us if we use children as a props so these are part of the rule i'm just giving it as an example it's a pretty good library please note all these are already installed in create react app but i prefer to install it manually also in our case okay so the next library is ESLint React Hooks. So this library, what it will do is there are a certain rules of hooks. If you use hook, you cannot uh, use the hook inside. Let's say you cannot use use state inside a use effect, and uh, uh, the, 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 there is a way in which you need to use a hook. For example, if you are going to use a custom hook, you need to have the name use uh, be prefixed. There are a lot of things, and also the dip dependence. Uh, dependent variables if it's a use effect those things are dependent in this particular ESLIN config you could I could show you this example where it's not warning me not to use use state inside a use effect so why is it not warning me wait I have the hook oh I have I forgot to include it in my extent so Airbnb already has this hooks defined okay and I forgot to I had forgot to include it now let me close and open my app.tsx yes now it looks now if I hover over use state you will notice it will warn me not to use use state inside the use effect I want to clarify that these libraries are dependency of the Airbnb TypeScript library that we saw and Airbnb TypeScript defines the rules based on these library if you want to extend or include or turn on or turn off certain rules that is defined in Airbnb or that are already available in these settings which is not being turned on by Airbnb you could do it yourself for example the last library that I want to show is the TypeScript ESLint uh, this particular library is also one of the uh, dependency of our Airbnb TypeScript config and here there are a lot of uh, rules that are defined that are defined in Airbnb it might have not chosen to pick certain rules which we can depend in future video I will show you how I use uh, certain settings that are part of TypeScript ESLint let me install all these dependencies explicitly and let me also install ESLint explicitly so that the versions are up to date and all the packages that we have installed related to ESLint are latest and I have proper peer dependency I don't want to see any of those peer dependency error I still see one it's related to the TypeScript parser so uh, ESLint TypeScript parser so let me install this also the latest version now it looks better we only see one only dependency issue related to testing library which you could resolve separately now we have successfully installed all our packages by ourselves explicitly and it looks all good let me start and see how it works we're still waiting for it to load so i think it should show you warnings that are fairly obvious we have successfully set up our airbnb typescript config i hope things are clear if you have some questions please leave it in the comment i will try to answer to them and in the next video what we will see is another custom config called unicorn because this is not enough so stay tuned for the next video